of the work, the minds, the skill, the talent, the commitment that went into it, that's what really matters. Over the last 27 years, Concorde has captured the imagination of people from all over the world. An extraordinary feat of engineering, a unique blend of power, grace, and beauty. Sydney Opera House, and there's Concord, arguably the three most beautiful man-made sights in the world. We have carried the Queen, uh, the Queen Mother, world leaders, stars. It has been an amazing magnet. Phil Collins had dashed from the Wembley stage to Philadelphia by helicopter and Concord. It's good fun. I mean, only a fool such as I would do this. For 27 years, British Airways Concord has been a national symbol a natural centerpiece for celebration. A few hundred feet over the heads of a million people, maybe more, Concord and the Red Arrows fill the sky. We flew down the Mall, and you could see Her Majesty standing on the balcony. I've never seen a million people before, let alone them all looking up and waving and cheering for Concord. She's brought cities together, brought people closer and reminded us all that we can do extraordinary things. You kind of think, oh, I wonder who might be on Concord, maybe famous film star who's just signed a contract in New York or something. Catherine Zeta-Jones is an absolute star, so glamorous, so Hollywood. Paul McCartney's probably everyone's favorite. He will say hello and he remembers us. Oh, Richard Gere. I have loved him since I was about five. You can always recognise it. It looks like a swan. You know, when swans fly, it looks like a swan with the shape of its neck. It's the most brilliant example of far-sighted designers thought ahead and kept to lead for half a century. No matter how many times you fly, there still is that amazing, exciting sensation when you take off. Every day is a thrill. By the time the passengers come on board, the air is absolutely charged with excitement. Speedway Concord 1, you're clear for takeoff. 27 left, surface wind, 240 at 10. Speedway Concord 1, Roger, clear for takeoff. 27 left. It's a thrill. It's the nearest thing I'll ever feel to a rocket. Power starts to bite. Push back into your seat. Disney's building. You're concentrating like man. 60 knots. The noise takes over. 100 knots. That's it. The heart starts to pound a bit. V1. Rotate. V2. Positive climb. For 
27 years, she has been our flagship, and her inspiration will stay with us as we take our standards of service still higher and higher. supersónicos del Concorde marcaron una era de la aviación comercial que cerró en 2003, pero ahora la compañía Startup Bomb Technology planea construir y lanzar una nave de ese tipo más rápida en 2020. La compañía con sede en la ciudad estadounidense de Denver presentó el XB-1, Supersonic Demonstrator, apodado Baby Boom, con el que planea hacer resurgir los vuelos comerciales supersónicos. La aeronave será capaz de atravesar grandes distancias en poco tiempo, los vuelos de 7 horas se realizarán en tan solo 3 y media y las de 15 en casi 7. La velocidad con la que volará será de 2.335 km por hora, superando al famoso Concorde retirado del servicio en 2003. Se plantea que el lanzamiento del primer prototipo sea en 2017 y para el 2020 esté operando como aeronave comercial. El grave accidente de uno de los Concorde el 25 de julio de 2000, el único en 27 años de servicio que costó la vida a 113 personas, y otros factores como la escasa rentabilidad precipitaron su retiro definitivo. Su último vuelo fue el 26 de noviembre de 2003. Notimex.